I can tell us who you are and uh, what is the name of your business. My name is Eduardo Lopez. I'm the manager of TC Worthy Carl's Market, located at 239 First Street. Okay, so tell me, are, what are your feelings about going, being allowed to go back into um, I'm business? very happy to be able to come back and start business again. It's been a long 11 days and we're just ecstatic of the fact that we're beginning to, to rebuild. We have the, the first signs of life in downtown you know, in the past two weeks. And I'm just very happy that the, the city council decided to take action, not wait one day longer, and just get the job done. We were initially told we were going to start on Friday. You can imagine how happy I was this morning when at 8.30 in the morning, Mr. David Lazan comes to my door and says, you need to open up now. And he tells me, open up, and that's how it all started. Uh -huh. Now, were you asked to sign a waiver? Uh, I was asked to sign a waiver, and we just signed a, a waiver releasing the city of any liability. Now, were those uh, waivers optional? Um, you know what? I did not ask if they were optional. Uh, since I have liability insurance and I had a, an engineer come and check my building, mm -hmm. I was pretty comfortable that we would be safe and everything would be good. Now, was your business red tag or green tag? My, my business here was green tag. Green tag. But I do you... have another business, which is red tag, uh -huh. and my engineer has also inspected that building, done his recommendations, and that has been submitted to the city, and it was submitted yesterday at 4.30 in the afternoon, and I'm waiting for the city to get back to me. Obviously, it's... It's only been 24 hours, so I understand that they've been really busy. Who in the city uh, did you want to credit or felt that needed some credit for allowing the early uh, allowance of merchants and pedestrians into the downtown area? Because it's been closed for 11 days, like you said. I, I want to credit the city council because they, after our Tuesday meeting, Mr. David Uzan, Mr. Guillermo Musillo, Mr. John Moreno, Mr. Danny Romero, and Mr. Luis Castro all got together and gave direction we cannot have this any longer. Let's get this downtown open. And that's what they did. And I was really happy that they did it even one day ahead of schedule. Did your business itself uh, sustain any uh, loss of inventory? We lost, I would, approximately $10,000 worth of inventory. It's a conservative estimate. Obviously, I'm just doing it by really rough numbers from what I see. Mm -hmm. But I obviously see I have to go back and, and I'm taking the inventory of everything that we're throwing away. To have a good idea of you know, how much losses I did, so did sustain at this time. Did you have any power losses? Uh... We had the initial power loss during the earthquake, which was approximately about an hour and 45 minutes that we had a power loss. But after that, we have not had a power loss here. So what exactly did you lose that you had to throw away? Well, we lost a, a lot of the produce that I had to throw away, all our code stuff that were our code dates, uh, which is bread, milk, uh, tortillas, deli items, plus all the breakage, everything that broke, you know, I don't know if you guys saw pictures, but we had pictures of originally, everything that you see on the shelves around you was actually in the middle of the aisle, so everything had to be, a lot of stuff had to be thrown away, um, I have a lot of stuff that I'm going to be selling at a reduced price, it's still good, we still need to sort through it, but what he did, we saved what we could, and we got rid of what, what we felt was, you know, was not sellable at this time. Okay, Mr. Villa, congratulations and good luck to you. Thank you very much.